Hi, I'm Chef Tony D, also known as the Boombastic Chef. And today, I'm going to show you how to prepare my Boombastic Blackened Turkey Dinner. This is the meal I prepared last Thanksgiving. However, you can serve turkey anytime during the year for whatever occasion you choose. Just know that this dish is a real crowd pleaser, no matter when you serve it. The combination of bacon and turkey is absolutely the best. Along with the spices I use, this turkey flavor will explode in your mouth. That just won't be a little party in your mouth. It'll be a rave and you're all invited. Tell you what, you bring the ingredients and I'll bring the recipe. How about that? So let's get started. This is my Boombastic Blackened Turkey Dinner. Shake, you make a certain part of my body. Hey, you make me scream. You make 
Take me shot, you make me wanna take you inside out. You my heart, you my soul. You make me lose control every time you near me, baby. You rock my soul, rock our own flag, girl. 'Cause it's never too late. You shock the house when it's time to break. So that's how to prepare my boombastic black and turkey dinner. Easy peasy, huh? If you couldn't tell from the video, the white meat was very juicy. Also, did you notice how the bacon added to the juices I used to baste the turkey? That adds so much to the overall flavor of the meat. Now let's go over the ingredients I used for this recipe. First, I brushed the whole turkey with coconut oil. That adds flavor and helps protect the skin from burning. After that, I sprinkled the fleur de sel, which is premium organic sea salt skimmed from the surface of the ocean. 
and pepper, of course. I don't know if you noticed, but I ran out of peppercorns and switched to the ground pepper shaker. Now that's real life cooking. Then I stuffed the turkey with a sachet of rosemary, but you can add whatever herbs you like. A sachet is a bundle of herbs tied with kitchen twine. The same twine I used to tie the turkey legs together. And after that, I placed the turkey in a foil lined baking pan. Remember, the non-stick side is the dull side of the foil and should be facing up in the pan. Now for the coating mixture, I used apple, cinnamon, melted butter, and honey. I coated the top side of the turkey with all of that. Then I strategically placed four large butcher cut slices of bacon over the top of the turkey for maximum coverage. <laughs> I sound like a cell phone commercial, huh? Maximum coverage. <laughs> anyway, I skin and cut the sweet patooties. And oh, that's a sweet potato for those of you that don't know. Notice there was some skin left on them and that's how I do it. If you prefer to remove all the skin, that's okay too. Then I poured melted butter, organic maple syrup and cinnamon over the sweet patooties. And for the asparagus, all I used was butter, fleur de sel, pepper, and garlic powder. Then I put everything in the oven preheated to 450 degrees. You should cook the asparagus and sweet patooties to your desired firmness. To make sure the turkey is done, check that the temperature is at least 165 degrees as it needs to be for all poultry. Today, our restaurant showcase features Le Cote Basque Wine House. This has been a family owned and operated establishment since 1972, when the Le Cordon Bleu Culinary Arts School of Paris trained chef Ernest Fromm and his new bride Teresa came to America from Germany. They served classic continental cuisine with a flair. After Ernest passed, his daughters, Carmen and Simone, took over and has been running the restaurant with the help of their children. What's also unique about Le Cote Basque is that every second and third Thursday of the month, they feature four one-act plays for your enjoyment. Let's take a quick look. Catch me inside. Hi. Hello. Hello. How are you two? Great. How are you? We're good. Hi, I'm Tony. I'm a Bastic chef. You're joining the theater? Tony D, yes. yes. The theater? Yes. Yay! Yeah, Miriam, director, producer, and actor. All right. Today. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You are, right? What is your name? I'm Mi Carmen. And this Carmen. is Carmen. Oh, Carmen, you're the, the most beautiful proprietor. Other than this lovely lady yeah. here. Now, guys, we have the regular menus on the table here. Uh, this is going to be for uh, all the drinks. If you guys want anything to drink, okay. Um, it's also so if you guys want to come for regular seating, this is our regular menu if you want to look at that. For the dinner theater, we're just going to be doing these three items here. Uh, it's going to be a chicken marcella, a uh, veal wiener schnitzel, and a flounder francaise. Uh, there's also a fourth choice that's not listed. That's going to be a beef bourguignon. Okay. All right. Um, so I'm going to come back in about five minutes or so to get you guys orders. Um, the show's going to be starting in about ten minutes. We're available and willing. Remember, we just moved here. Let's be grateful. A moment of gratitude. Hold hands. <laughs> Yes, gratitude. Mystical gratitude. Hey, I like the sound of that, don't you? Sounds like a rock group, don't you think? A rock group? I don't think so, but oh, I'm so exhausted. Oh, me too. I'll see you two in the morning. I'm going to sleep three days. I have to catch up. I'm too tired to make any more brew this week. Uh, we'll be flying over Palmetto on Monday, next week, and uh, dropping off some spell, and I think the spell will be love potions. Oh, yes, that reminds me. If we have just a little extra left over, I'd like to try some. There's this young gent I'm interested in. Oh, no, Jean, no. Do not get interested in another human gent. Remember Marcus? Remember what happened with Marcus? Please remember Marcus. Yes, Marcus. What a lovely man. So handsome. Such good energy. And a great chiropractor. I adored him. Too bad his wife wouldn't share. 
Oh, don't blame her. You were the greedy one. He was married and human. Pick out someone supernatural, mystical. If you have to pick someone out, please don't make us go through rescuing you from the clutches of a human man again. It's too taxing. They're so cute. They open doors for us and they love to hear us giggle. And things you two wouldn't understand. You've been witches far too long. Oh, stop it, Jean. Opening a door for us? We are witches. We fly through a door. Listening to us giggle, when do we giggle? We are <laughs> You are absolutely intolerable, and I won't stand for your company if you continue to be so childish. Get out of my sight. You can't do that. I don't have to listen to you or you. Fee fi fo fum. I smell the smell of an Englishman. <laughs> and it's so sweet. Can't you smell it too? He's very near. He's handsome and clean shaven Whoa. and single. Huh? Stop it! Stop it, Jean! Oh! I'm getting a visual, but he's not handsome. He's loathsome. He's human. I can smell it, and it's nasty. It's very nasty. I love it. Oh, I don't know what to do with you, Helga. Take her inside. Put a hot coal to cool her down immediately. Well, hello, witch. I hear you can make a spell for almost no fee. Is this true? Oh, yes. Yes. <laughs> um, anything. What is it you need? Well, I wish to ward off an ugly princess. I don't wish to marry her. I'd like to marry another. Well, perhaps when I find her. Perhaps your brew can help me with both issues. Of course, of course. Let me see. I guarantee it. Uh, which, which, oh, excuse me, woman, <laughs> were you dreaming about, dearie? Well, you know, the usual woman, one that can cook gruel without all, all, all that fancy new stuff, one that can darn my socks and fix my metal, one that can sharpen my blade, one who doesn't mind a snoring warrior at night, and she must look beautiful at breakfast. Oh, a witch can do all those things. Have you considered falling in love with a witch? A very uh, underrated, not bad sort of woman. Uh, you might find what you need in a witch. Well, I've actually never considered a witch. Um, which witch would you recommend? Oh, uh, well, just a minute. I'm going to have you look at our photos. They have phone numbers, too. <laughs> oh, they are much more beautiful than I had imagined. Oh, but I mean, what is this? Do they all have these bumps on their noses? Oh, bumps, schmumps. <laughs> Sarah Ann Butler. Olga <laughs> Cruz. <laughs> Eric Dawson. How about that? Pretty cool, huh? We had a great meal and a fun time. Carmen was such a gracious and beautiful host. Big thanks to Carmen and her son Dalton, who happened to be our maitre d'. What a great family. I have to say, though, the bread they served was among the best I've ever tasted. There's an interesting story about how they came upon the recipe for that bread on their website. Hint, it involves Carmen's son Dalton when he was a little boy. Check it out and do visit them if you're in the Gulfport area near St. Petersburg, here in the great state of Florida. You definitely won't be disappointed.
I hope you enjoyed this episode of The Boombastic Chef. Don't forget to like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. And please join our crowdfunding campaign to help us fund the network TV pilot. And if you like any of the songs you heard, they're available on iTunes. Stay put during the closing credits for the details. Oh, and again, a note to all of you on restricted diets, bacon is part of the Boombastic Diet Plan. Bacon is included in the Boombastic Diet Food Pyramid that I showed you last week. This is the foundation of the Boombastic Diet. I'll explain everything you need to know about how to manage your heart disease, diabetes, gout, and weight issues using my unique and effective diet plan to attain a great quality of life. I'm working on the DVD now and it will be free to all registered members of my Boombastic Diet blog. This is my way of giving back for all the help and knowledge and support I've received from so many doctors and nurses over the last 26 years. And I can't wait to share it with all of you. Well, that's all for now. Please give generously to my two favorite charities, the American Heart and Diabetes Associations. And, as always, make every day boombastic. Ha 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 ha.